Welcome to Grace Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Oh, let's start the timer. Oh, I have a timer. TNT, you said yeah. you brought some, has some fire to bring today? Is that what's up? <laughs> no. You, you didn't have any fire to bring? I thought you said you got something to bring. <laughs> Don't. Oh, okay. Well, no. never mind then. I guess I'll bring some fire. <laughs> you saw that they're uh, putting out a new Weird Al movie, right? Oh yeah, with uh, Jason R- Radcliffe, Jason, Jason Statham, yes, no, no, that's, that's Dan, Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel yes. Radcliffe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, what I didn't know about it, I saw today an article that uh, they did no real life research on Weird Al for that movie. It's essentially a parody movie about Real really? Weird Al. Yeah, like so, it isn't like a true biopic about okay. him. It's like they just made a movie about Weird Al, but it's they didn't do any research on it, so it's just kind of like, so, so. I was like, now I want to see it even more because yeah. it's just gonna be like the tall tale of Weird Al or whatever. Yeah, I'm I, actually I kind of like that take on it because we've we've gotten a lot of these like biopics lately. Like we just got the Elvis one that I did not see. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see it either. But regardless, it's good to see that they're taking that kind of a. That kind of a take on it, I, man. They, they should just do a movie about anybody like yeah, that. Yeah, well, Lots it really fits him because his whole career has just been making parodies of people. Yeah, you yeah. know, so it's like, why not someone make a parody of him? And while it's like you would like to see, like I guess, what really happened in his life to uh to lead up to the events of him becoming like a a parody, is he like just a parody act? Like parody? I guess, yeah, I don't know. Because I mean, even like the songs he does on his albums, they're uh, they're comedic in nature. Well, yeah, they're all they're all parody comedy songs, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, he I don't know if he does other stuff like you know, like like Trent Reznor like does Nine Inch Nails, but he's also like a composer and does like yeah, scores yeah. the movies and things like that. Yeah, 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 like yeah. I don't know if Weird Al's ever done that behind the scenes, like with stuff like does other like normal type music stuff. Yeah, but. It's just, I think he's just like a polka guy, like polka. A polka guy? A polka guy. Everybody get out here. Oh, <laughs> you know, like he's no. just out here doing polka shows. I don't think he does. <laughs> I know he plays the, the uh, what do you call it? Accordion. The accordion. Yeah, dude. I would. Uh, is, is that polka? I guess that's a polka. Oh, right? yeah, dude. Everybody. I don't know, dude. I'm I just, just like, I don't know. But it would be interesting to see, like, the, the actual rise to, like, where he was selling this act that everybody, obviously, nobody's like, oh, I'm jumping right on the Weird Al guy act. It, it's probably not that great of a story. It's probably, it's probably like, I started doing this stuff. Everybody thought it was stupid. It started catching on a little. Yeah, yeah, big yeah. name people let me do their songs. I redid a Michael Jackson song, made millions off of a parody. Yeah, like I don't. Yeah, I don't think his. I mean, I could be completely wrong, right? He could have had this great story, but like, yeah. it seems like it's just like a guy who tried to do something different and it worked out for him. Yeah, yeah, and you know, maybe he had enough money behind him to make like quality. Honestly, when you think about what Weird Al does, and I, I'm going to offend some people here. He's basically like one of the first YouTubers. He was like one of those first like comedy YouTuber acts, like doing vines and stuff, just doing like short little parodies of a song, making you laugh. And then, yeah. And it's like, how do you make money off of that? Yeah. I guess, I guess back then you could just make money off of other yeah, people's music. Yeah, it's like he takes someone else's work and get rich off it, like Drake. <laughs> Joking, totally. And Kanye, yeah, like Kanye, <laughs> like Kanye. Yeah, no, but like, no, for real, it, it really what it is. I mean, because yeah, it takes it takes some skill to like write new lyrics over a song, but if you're just doing goofy lyrics and the song, the cadence, the flow is already there for you, it's yeah. not nearly as hard. When's the last time you listened to a Weird Al album? Oh, the bad one, probably the one, so. the, the the eat it one. Like I had the cassette tape back in the day. Wow! Of uh, date yourself. It was uh, it was the one that had uh, all, all I remember about it was I think it had eat it, and that's one of the other songs I remember for whatever reason was called stuck in a closet with Vanna White. But it was so that he did have <laughs> he did have some originals because that was an original. <laughs> I'm stuck in a closet with Vanna White. Like, that's not a parody. No, so on no. his stuff, some of his stuff was original. Wow. Um, now he, I think he just yeah. does all parodies. But. No, I think he still has some original music. I believe, honestly, I have not listened to an album in forever, but I just don't see how you can get away with that nowadays with the way that like music laws work nowadays. It's well, he gets different. permission from the people to do it. And at this point, that still costs money. At this point, it's per- almost a stamp of honor if Weird Al calls you up and says, "Hey, can I parody your song?" Uh, you're still gonna be paying. Yeah, but like if you're a young band or something or a young artist, and Weird Al calls you up, he's like, "Hey, man, 
I like what you do. I'd like to parody your song. I would be like, yes, you can do it for free yeah. because it would be like, it would be like, you will make my song that much more popular because yeah. you parodied it. Because if he says it's based on something, I could see his audience being like, I want to know what the source material is. Yeah, exactly. Still exactly. a very cool idea to do his movie as a parody. I, I honestly hope they do more people. They need to start doing this to more people. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, <laughs> I guess, and I guess it's a fine line to walk between parody and slander. Like if they're just like, he's out there, like he's like a, a coke addict banging hookers and like doing all this other like he's like yo you're ruining my name I, yeah. that ain't what i'm doing but, like, i, I want to see how far they're gonna go with it are they gonna go like uh, like a uh, dumb and dumber like level, yeah level? I, don't, I don't know what it is like, like is he gonna end up on an alien ship with a giraffe or something like that or it's well, gonna be like compared it kind of like um what they said in the vein of like boogie nights where boogie nights was like a parody okay. movie okay. kind of but it was like still kind of a serious movie he's staked right? in reality yes yeah exactly like it's not like he's gonna be slaying dragons while he's playing accordion or anything i mean look man i just saw black adam last Last night's anything's possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> anything's sure. possible in a movie is when it comes to it right yeah, now. Yeah, you're not wrong. Dude, I just wish. Weird Al superhero so, movie. I think so many people wish this too, but I don't think it'll ever happen. I wish they would give Weird Al the Super Bowl halftime show. There has been, that is, it has come up numerous, numerous times. He's been around for decades, parodies enough songs. I think it would be worth it to give him a halftime show of the Super Bowl. I think wow. people would love it. The whole thing? Well, I mean, they only get one artist. It's like 15 minutes. That's all you get. No, they have like five or six. Well, but yeah. They do I a mean, melody usually. So he could definitely do a melody, but I don't know if he could fill 15 minutes. He has so many songs. Dude. He has Gangster's Paradise and Eat It. And Bro, like, when is the last time you listened to a weird Al album? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I, I haven't listened to one in years, and I'm still like, I don't know if I can listen to 15 minutes of it. Yeah. Give but me yeah, like, give I me think, five minutes of I weird Al. he has enough hits. That he could, they could do that like that like give it give it like a minute per song sort of thing, yeah. and you could get through a fifteen minute show. I think that if they it, you have a good idea, but I think they should have the people who originally did the song come out. I agree. Do part of it, and then Weird Al come out and do like his part of yeah, it. Yeah, they could get then... Michael Jackson back from the dead. He could come out and do he could do the, he could do be the... <laughs> They can just show up on the side. They have a hologram. Yeah. Oh, dude. A Michael J. They, hologram. They have all of the people he's ever parodied on stage, like a choir in the back, and yeah. he's just doing the parodies, and they're like, and they're like just clapping their hands. And Weird Al and the hologram are dancing. Yeah, yeah, dude. Exactly. Gallagher shows up. See, this is what they should put in the movie. Who shows up? The Gallagher. Oh, the Gallagher. Where does <laughs> they, Gallagher? I, you know, I always got Gallagher and Weird Al. Dude, confused they should just head. have Gallagher smashing watermelons while Weird Al is singing. Dude. <laughs> For the halftime? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Gallagher's out there smashing watermelons and Weird Al oh, singing, God. dude. Carrot Top's doing his bit, oh, too. Oh, thank you for that. I was so going to say that, too. I swear to God, I was going to say Carrot Top's there. Except for he's all jacked and looks crazy now. But Carrot Top, Gallagher, and Weird, Weird Al occupy the same space in my mind. When yeah, it, when it comes to talent, I mean, and I hate to put Weird Al in that, and, but that's because Weird he, that's Al I think it. is the best of the three. Yes, because he was he was more of a musician; they were comedians, yes. so it's like there's a difference. But the, I agree, they're all kind of right in that bucket together. Yeah, like yeah. they're they're wacky and zany, and like, yeah. <laughs> I could definitely see those guys like meeting on a Sunday at a diner, having having like coffee. Oh my lord! Yeah. Imagine what that conversation would be like. <laughs> Throw Rob Robin Williams in there with them, like oh, oh god. No, keep him in the grave. Thank you. Keep wow, <laughs> didn't he did? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I yeah, just didn't yeah. know. Yes. I didn't know you were gonna kill a man. No, I just don't know. Keep just this don't, man dead. I don't want zombie Robin Williams any more than I want regular Robin Williams. This is what about zombie Michael Jackson? I mean, I won't. I'd ask him for a loan. Ask him for a loan? They yeah. already spent his money, dude. Like his family. They didn't spend all of his. Oh, money. they. He's know, got money. You know, Janet's out here long like money. Janet's out here like, hi, Michael. Thanks for the. <laughs> thanks for the new. The legs. new what? The new legs. I don't okay. know, dude. Didn't she have an accident? <laughs> No, no, I don't, I'm, just, I don't, I'm not keeping up with the Jacksonsons. Keep it up with the Jacksons. <laughs> yeah, I don't keep yeah, up dude, with that it. would be a uh, you know. But anyways, I think we are actually get a Super Bowl. I will watch the movie, especially I think it's gonna be on the Roku channel, which is like just a free app. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I have a Roku, so it'll be right on there with it. Sweet, I'll watch that. That's one thing I don't think you can get on Apple TV or Fire Stick. I'm sorry, are we being paid by Roku now? Oh, they can give me a buck, dude. No, they're not going to. They won't, but I'll take it. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We out.